Alright guys, today we are doing the Mother Talica Easy Dungeon. Mostly so we can just get the rewards and the lore real quick. And then we'll like speedrun the other ones to get Talica's Harp. When the turn starts, applies Torture Immune to a random ally. Kind of pointless. After being damaged by a skill, if Ware's life is below 25%, heals it. So, that's... That's a really bad... Relic, okay? At, at, at most, it's... At least it turns... At least it gives someone torture immunity, but that's pretty bad. So here the Rock Kingdom is, back with those two. Where are you taking us? And then the king comes strolling in, from behind. To the forest. We can go on our own. No, you're prisoners. So you're actually buying what Nishant said? We didn't steal your armor. He already had it when he kidnapped us. Talika, say something. <laughs> Calm down, child. Ooh. Things will clear up very soon. Don't worry, Blumeria. As soon as Autumn cross-checks your version with, some, with someone from the forest, this will be over. Hey, don't talk to the prisoner. We're here. He's so impartial, <laughs> literally just a mountain. He don't, like, listen to anybody. She's still got a sick design in her just holding a piece of nectar. Or a nectar? Some nectar? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, and then nectar plants grow everywhere. What's this? It's a trap. The forest is setting us up. He's the only one who's worried. No, this is just the forest welcoming back its most beloved inhabitant. Ooh, what is it gonna do? Is it just gonna sit there? Do I have to click? Boom, thunder strike. Oh, they always do this, but it's fine. Boom. E. Wow, they... They buffed her up. She's, she has a tankier life now, so I can say she probably weighs more. She transformed. She's going to attack us. I assure you she's not going to attack us, Warthrak. Calm down. Talika, you look lovely. Thank you, old friend. Talika, it's you in all of your glory. Look, a war master comes to confront the new general. I had never seen the forest offer so much nectar at once, but it's, but for, but it's for you, so it's only fair. I am home. Oh, her her nectar actually looks kind of weird. Hold on, this monster is our prisoner. Prisoner. Let me explain. Nishant says that he found Talika and Blumeria carrying Autumn's armor, a relic that was stolen from us. And he says they did that. That makes no sense. You know very well that we have no interest in stealing anything. We've never done anything like that before. Nishant is angry because after our ritual, the magic of death is lost power. The magic of death lost power. So he's teamed up with the fiery forces and they're sabotaging us. And what does that have to do with us and our armor? Why would he steal Autumn's armor then give it back the minute we asked for it? Why And why were these two at his castle? We were kidnapped by him and his volcano partners. But I don't believe he's only trying to sabotage the forest. There must be a bigger plan. And he probably stole Autumn's armor to carry out his plan as well. I suggest we investigate this together. But there's no way all of these monsters are going to go walking around together. Like, that is just asking for someone to attack, or something to go wrong, or like, the forest will be unprotected, and they'll be like, Oh no, Nabotus returned, or some like, crazy stuff like that. I think you're the best option for now, right? Do, do, do. No real attackers. Colonel Pip is just chilling over there. Yeah, this is good. This is going to take a while, though, because this is team ultra sustainability without damage. Like, if I fight a monster with um torture immunity, I'm going to be screwed. So, look, I love that. That makes this dungeon a whole lot easier. So... Whoa. Okay. 
we've got quite a few opponents here. I'm, I'm really liking what I'm seeing. Alright, so we got Doometh and... Well, didn't really get to see him. Oh, I remember that dark monster. He used to ha like that used to be m my favorite monster design ever. Like the second I got him, like I called my brothers over and I was like, "Oh my god, look at this dude!" And then I hatched him and then I found out his moves were trash. But you know, it's like it, it never meet your heroes, honestly, guys. Like I, what in your opinion is the best design on a monster and the most like let down? Because I know I, two dis. Two examples of what I know people were mad they said it was a wasted design was like Merc and Juggernail. But I actually kinda like their like their skill sets, so they don't see like seem like waste to me. So what is your opinion? Like is there some sick monster design that has a trash skill set that I don't know off the top of my head? Like Soul Hugger, not really sure what he does, but I know he was like Either an exclusive or a forsaken monster. Boom, she's killing Miserus, the revival, anticipation monster, which, you know, that was always a weird combo for me. Like, if you're anticipating attacks, right? Why? Okay, so the way I see it, if someone's doing extra turns and killing your allies, then if you revive them, they're just gonna kill them again. Like, even if it was Anticipation trait, it would have still been kind of funky for me. But it doesn't really matter now. I think... I could have sworn he had... I could have sworn he had Abomination. Boom, White Shatter. Oh, Reverse Healing. That's actually a pretty good, like, counter to what I'm running. But... Mother Talica has two cleanse moves. I wonder what the community's opinion on her is. I, I think she's alright. I'm not like over the top like in love with her. I'm not blown away. In fact, I'm tempted to say I still like Forge Labs more. But she's got immune to she's got immunity to control. 30% shield plus 30% heal. You know, stamina regeneration. Double damage plus cleanse plus I think precision? Maybe? I don't think it's precision. Anyway, so I, I, I see her as a very versatile support monster, which is not as common as you might think these days. Like, usually now, if you get a support monster, it's just doing one thing. Oh, and she can purr, you know? Like, if you got Weirdica, she's just there to make your damage do more. But like, with her, she's she's got a lot of maneuverability, and she can be run as a monster who can cleanse. So, personally, I see her being used not heavily, but being used in war for sure, for me, especially if they come up with like, listen, I'm trying to follow a pattern here, and I think with like the Corrupted Era, the monsters were super great, and then they released Ultra Meta like talents, and then they did kind of the same thing in, in the Blossom Era, right? But, like, the Blossom Era and Metro Era were kind of lackluster, so I think this is the era where, sure, we've had trash talent after trash talent, but I'm telling you, they're going to hit us with, like, some absolute zero part two. So I'd be ready for that. You know? And I'm going to be prepared. I'm going to have some monsters, because a lot of times you'll see a monster with a mechanic that you'll be like, huh, that's kind of weird. That requires a lot of setup that I don't have. And then, boom, like... Two days later, they release a, mom, a talent that can easily do that, and it becomes somewhat usable. Not always made up, but always usable. Look, cleanse plus torture immunity plus stamina regeneration. Yeah, I like her in the same sense that I like um, Aunt Lyrion. You know, they're great, but they might not get that used that much. But when they do, it's for sure going to be fun. Her zero cooldown um, per. Which per, for those of you guys who don't know, um, positive effect removal. Like, if someone had done per to me, they would be removing my torture immunity and stamina regeneration. Honestly, I, I th she's a great monster for sure, in my book. And you can always run her with Archdruid Sigil, which Archdruid Sigil makes matches so much easier. And she has a revival. Uh, I think she has... 
I think she has an amulet over like a staff, as normal monsters do. Okay, don't tell me Blue Maria came. You said that we we're going to investigate this together, but you haven't even told us where we're going. Actually, we're going very near your home. Blue Mary and I were kidnapped by the fiery forces on Nishant's orders. So I want to find out what the motivations for their partnership what are the motivations for their partnership with Nishant? This should be interesting. And everyone follows. Where's King Autumn? Was he just behind them? Did they leave King Autumn and um Bloom area back in their respective places? And I love that Blue Mary is just sitting there like raging, even though he's a prisoner. Even though, you know, if he if she got an Earth hater, she would wreck everybody there. You know, you can't sleep on Blumeria, even when they're your prisoner. I don't know why I just held my breath for like 50 seconds. Or like, no, not 50, more like 5. But nonetheless, I don't know. Alright, so this is a good stamina regeneration. Always one of the first moves I like to do in a match is apply stamina regeneration. Because in that way you're already set up to like not have to recharge again and usually stamina regeneration comes with something else like for her it's immunity to um torture for slumster he does a stamina regeneration plus immune to control um you know usually it's great it's great support for stamina and i know newer monster guy capricorn tubercon oh my god i said capricorn i know Tubercon has a, uh, like, cooldown deactivation to the whole team, plus 20 stamina to himself and 60 stamina to the whole team. No, 20 stamina to himself, 40 to the whole team. So I know he's got some pretty good support in that realm. You know, I hatched Mother Talica earlier today, so I'm gonna get my use out of it. You know? Wild Fig. Maniacal tree. And then spin the roulette. Collect. Boom, okay. Minos. Minos, I, I, I always wonder, like, how far ahead does Social Point plan? Like, and this is kind of like a random change of topic, especially how I, there's a little cut in between this and this. But, like, I always wonder, how far ahead do they plan? It's like, when they released Meltius, did they think they were going to do it? Because they have a lot of legendaries that they just put in books because they think it makes sense. Because they do a lot of world building through the lore of a monster. Which, that's kind of, like, a, a, like awesome way to build lore. You're like, oh, well, I want to say something about the Cardinal Forest in the lore. Gotta make a new monster. It's like, that's kind of comedic in my eyes. Boom, curse, drown, plus shock, you're both dead because you're fire monsters. And then spin, speed, 30,000 food. Node 16. And boom. Supercharged amulet. Wild fig. Kills. Mandincio tree nut. Yeah, Synthrus, though, is a... Synthrus is one monster that I always forget is in the Metropolitan era. Like, I feel like he really seems like he doesn't fit into any era specifically. Because when I think of the Metropolitan era, the only reason in my head that I could come up with that people used Mare Modus was because there was no straight-up taunt monster in the Metro era. But there was. There was Synthrus. But Synthrus was pay to win. He's not anymore, obviously, or I wouldn't have him, but, like, so that was my thought process. Kevlar's Vest deals some nice damage in return. See what I mean? Only thing with this team is it's got no attackers and no good dots. But I have no good attackers in that book, in the pure gear. So, she attacks him. Mandicinal, Tree Nut, Megatont, um, 
Nectar of Strength, Mandicio, kills him with an AoE, Spin Speed, Money. But you know, I always like how the first... Okay, oh, Kai the Sun Melter, it's been a while. And then there's... A War Master. I was trying to find out whether that was a War Master or a General. But it's the general that's been transformed in evil. That war master is actually, uh, he's got a good heart. I was told the leaders of Cardinal Forest would come for us. And I must say, I didn't think you had it in you. <laughs> come for you? It was Vada Melter who kidnapped Talca and Blumeria on Nishant's command. We're here to demand an explanation. Why did the fiery forces make a move against us? We weren't going to wait for you to de debilitate the powers of fire like you did with the dark powers. You've been brainwashed by Nishant. But Nishant was right. You're here for us. Bro, because they attacked them first. What is... Dude is tripping. Ooh, Vada Melter. This was almost my team, except I didn't use Metaphisto. Mephisto. Just gonna give that torture immunity. I'm probably gonna take... Look, you see? This is why it's actually pretty good that I have Synthrus, because he's a Thunder Taunt, and he can apply Mega Taunt. Because if they did an AoE and their fire versus both of these nature monsters, they're both nature and magic, funnily enough, it would do heavy damage. But since he's Thunder... It's not that big of a threat. So, I'll cleanse off you. I'll hit you with an AoE. Or just another cooldown activation. Boom, supercharge overload or whatever. Oh, Melty is going to be hard to take down once like this dungeon gets further in. Boom, I don't think either of them have like very good stamina regaining capabilities. Look at this, he's got, I can't even see. Nectar of Strength, double damage. Wild Fig, kills. Now it's for Kai the Sun Melter. Ooh, it's kind of funny, like, I just completed Vada Melter's Era Saga, and then I come over here, and then I gotta fight the people I just finished using. I'll kill Kai. Although I heard that a big hulking mass over there, that legendary Igneous, can give fire weakness, um, burn, and then burn Hater to himself. Which, I would love to see him do that, because I want to know how much damage a legendary monster can do. So, if anyone in the comments knows how much damage, like, a legendary can do max, I'd be very interested. Look at him. It's also nice because he's slow, so that shield lasts longer because he doesn't have to reapply it as often. So Purifier spell won't do much, so I'll just reapply the shield now. Uh, I want Curse to be in full effect. Reapply my Mega Taunt, which I kind of like the Vulnerable on Synthrus because that way I'm reflecting more damage quicker. And he can heal like a, in a snap, so healing really isn't a worry for him taking damage. That will make those volcanoes think twice before coming to the forest again. Zara. Talaga. Talica. Autumn, Warthrak, Gortak, and I have been talking. And we think it's time for us to step aside in this war. It's true that Nishant stole the armor from, from us. We do believe it was him. We believe that he's up to something. But this is getting out of control. We plan- the plan was to investigate Nishant's plans, but you've brought us here on a revenge quest for the kidnappings. And what's worse, you've sent out the message that Nishant was right. He said that you'd come after the fiery forces. And that's exactly what you've done. Oh, come on. Don't end it like that. Sorry, my thing froze up. I'll go back.
you do is just gotta get to that same point. That's exactly what you've done. Huh? It's glitching. Okay. It's just... I can't believe you're abandoning, abandoning us. We will still support you, but you need to rethink your approach. Zara, my sweet child, Rock Art Stewart is probably right. In order to stop Nishant, we need to understand what he wants. Hmm. Right after the ritual, someone tried to warn me about Nishant. Who? Okay. Genuinely interested. Oh. Her fellow war master. The necromancer. I, I never knew his name. He was never used that much to where I knew his name. Like, I know there's Barbiel because brother of Barbatos. He's the demon that became the war master for fire, and he's an angel. Because that's, like, that's dope. That's dope, like, canonically, he's an important man. But the necromancer, his lore literally just goes... He was a scientist in Lord Dracula's castle, and he just worked there. Little did Dracula know, in his castle, he had a war master. Like, no offense, that's, that's lame as duck. Like, I do not care about lore that tells me, oh, if only he knew the power he had in his castle. Like, what? No, tell me how vicious he is, or how cool he is, or why he's a good war master. Like, Barbiel's or origin story was great, but that one felt just rushed. I hope it was rushed, at least, because if that was, like, the final product, then did not meet my hype. Look, three abominations. You know who would direct these guys? Serpentex, with his abomination hater. So, luckily, I got two rank threes and one good mythical... One good Blossom Mythical, that being Mother Talica. She's sitting there. Although Mother Talica, she's really taking a back seat. She's more like a plot device right here. Like, she's following along, but every single conversation in here has been between Zara and, like, the Rocky Peaks. And them talking, and then Zara just, no, and then Mother Talica just sitting there and being, like, magical or whatever. So, you know... She's not really that important in this whole thing. In her even era saga. But I don't know if she was loved by the players. Because I don't know why. People seem to remember her fondly. And I hatched her and I like fed her and I saw her moves. And I don't remember seeing anything special. I faintly remember it was either weakness or trait disable that I saw. Necromancer. I was gonna say the Necromancer War Master, but I was just saying it because he was a Necromancer, not because he was the War Master Necromancer. Forgot his name. Fellow War Master, I was hoping you'd come to see me. Why? Why? Are you going to apologize to me? Apologize? Remember when all of this started? We talked at Count Vlad's graveyard, and you told me someone was very angry at my ritual to protect the forest. But you didn't want to tell me it was Nishant. Then he started kidnapping monsters from the forest and stealing relics from everyone. You knew it was him doing it all along and you did nothing about it. They kind of look very, they look extremely similar, canonically. I thought you were my friend. That's right, I am your friend. Respect for our friendship has been the only thing keeping me from actually supporting him. But you don't deserve my support. After all, I am the Dark War Master. I can't blame Nishant for starting this war that I should have started myself. Oh. Do I like the way he's doing things? No. But he started this fight without his most basic powers, so I have to admire his creativity. You're taking the side of a criminal? Zara, please. I am the Dark War Master. I'm taking the side of a dark monster. Oh, I never thought I'd have to do this with you. Okay, the lore is actually, like, getting pretty good. There's actually, like, elemental division between monsters. 
watch, they're gonna release a nature and dark monster, and that's gonna be like the link or something, you know? Be like, look, look at how we can coexist. But that's actually, this is heating up. Tensions are flaring everywhere. And Zara is just like, Zara is understandably emotional. You know, I, I can't believe this. I'm getting invested in Monster Legends lore, you know. I know there's a, an account on the uh, Monster Legends competitive wiki. I think it's like an admin called Monster Legends lore. But I haven't seen any Monster Legends lore from him. I, I really don't know what that was meant to be. Okay, so there's Werevolt, a monster I really need to complete one of my collections. Boom, Werevolt's gonna die. Okay, well... And just watch next season, Warmaster, um, Necromancer, I'm telling you, next, in two seasons, not next, because next season is confirmed to be the Igorous reboot, and Master Pet, which everyone is assuming is gonna be Nishant's pet. Good, Zara, you've won against me, and for what? As Warmasters, we're supposed to understand each other and keep a balance. But first you broke the balance with your ritual, and now you refuse to understand how it affected other elements. You might be acting like the queen of the forest, but you've forgotten you're a war master. Oh. Sheesh. Dear child, I think he has a point. Talika, not you. Listen to me. I'm not saying that ritual is a mistake. We had to do it in order to protect our forest. Maybe we didn't choose the right words. The spell didn't me the spell didn't mention the magic of death. It didn't, but the magic of death was clearly affected by it. The sooner we admit it, the sooner we can start working on a solution. Even if you're right, Nishant is still dangerous. He's working on something. Yes, we have to be very careful. All right. The, the lore here was sick. It was a roller coaster. Sheesh. And this is a sick item frame, too. So, that was Mother Talika's Era Saga. Easy dungeon, at least. Her lore complete and everything. It was uh, really fun. I really like the lore. It's heating up. You know? It's getting spicy. Like a spicy nectar plant. So, if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed me dubbing over, like, the lore, you know, me saying it out loud so you don't have to just read it like a slow comic book, then leave a like, you know? It helps the video do better, better in the algorithm, and it directly supports me. Subscribe to join the Crab Army. We're reaching almost 50 Omnius Crabs, you know? And once we do, we can invade a small country. You know, it's a big milestone, so please help me there. And, uh... Comment and I will respond. What are your thoughts on the whole thing? Where do you think it's going? And probably someone in the comments is going to like say whatever is actually going to happen next. Because there's always that one sharpshooter who knows exactly where the lore is going. So yeah. And uh, that's about it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Your favorite Omnius Crab. Signing out.